Hi guys, Ralph here. Quick video for you. Have you got a, a GameCube and the battery's gone on the calendar? Fine, really easy fix to do for you on this. What you need is a GameCube, obviously. One of these little, little bits that will remove the security screws on the bottom of the GameCube and a battery, simple as. So, here's what you do. Part of the GameCube, these four holes here, take out the screws. Use a screwdriver, obviously. They are quite deep in. Luckily, I can get this on my screwdriver and it will just reach where the screw is. So remove all four of these screws and that's what you need to start with. After you've done, these screws are, there you go, that type of head on them. They're a nice, interesting head. They're not exactly a... You probably will be able to round these off quite quickly as well, but be careful with them. Once the four screws are out, lift off the top. Simple as that. Then on the front, you can see the battery is just here. You need to just pull this forward a little bit and release the ribbon cable, which I'll get you in a little bit, is right there. So these two pieces of plastic just clip round it, release, gently pull it off the board, and then you're left with your controller. So now you just need to get rid of the main GameCube chassis, so shall we say. And then we're left with this. Now, two screws, one here, one here. The standard Phillips crosshead, normal side, normal type screw for this job. Both exactly the same. This now lifts off. You notice when you put back in, it's that hole there and that hole there that go over these two pegs there. Quite easy. So you can just put this to one side for a moment. Afterwards, now, you're left with the controller port. Now, I've already done a mod on this. If you want to do a mod for the different LED, there it is. Put whatever LED you want on. Usually, the resistor will cope with... Because I've got the blue on there, it will cope rather nice with it. So, what I need to do is unsolder this pin, this pin, holding on the battery, which is easy enough to do. Heat it up, pull it out, heat it up pull it out, fall off, and then put the new one on. So I'm going to desolder this, get this out, and then we'll go from there. Now, as you can see, the battery is out. Simple soldering comes off the board. It just like to show you on here, that side's the positive, that side is the negative. So this old battery, yeah, it's a solder in. If you wanted to, and it's, it's not really essential to put a socket on there and put a standard battery on, because these last about 10 years, and to be honest, I'm going to be a lot older, when I get around to replacing this, but they're a CR2032 battery, standard, they're, they're all through consoles and all sorts of different PCs and also you get these on eBay for a couple of quid. So that one's now done with, the new one is here. It looks slightly different, it's just tacked on plus and minus on these. So what you need to do is, obviously the plus is this section here, you can just see where it says plus on there. So this pen pin here wants to go onto this left-hand side. So just flip it round, or don't flip it round, just put through. It might not exactly fit, it might have to bend the pins just a tiny bit, and then they're in, and done. So then, while holding it in place with one hand, and trying to get the solder iron with the other, uh, this shouldn't be very easy, but to show you, I can get one in just to solder it in place. No, nope, that's not done it. Let's do the smaller one while you're looking. There you go, that's held in place with having the negative on. Now I can do the positive with both hands. Lovely. So now that's dry, that's hold it in place. I can just retouch up the negative. Done. There we have a new battery on the right way around, because positive is the top on here, which goes into the positive part there. As you can see, negative is underneath, soldered in quite nicely. Now, it's a simple reverse of 
what I've just done with the dismantling. So I'll show you that. I'll show you that now. Put that in there. You must put this back into. See what I mean? There, you got the hole there, hole there. They go across there like that. That is the right way around. Which it, it is not. <laughs> Let's make sure that you've got slot A, slot B that way around. Your ribbon cable down at the back. Your LED pointing upwards, which it's supposed to be. Two screws in. There, there. Just, just be careful with the plastics. There we go. There we go. Nicely in. Line it in, pl in place with the bottom pins in, so that underneath everything, so it will go and the memory card slots will come out of the front. But while you're there, you need to put, I'll try and show you while I'm here, this ribbon cable inside there, but be careful with this. It could possibly break, it could come off. But that is a tricky little blighter to get in there. All right, so. I can move that out of the way. This is probably the trickiest bit, is putting this ribbon cable back here. There it goes. Right, you just feel it pushing in a little bit, so it's fine. So, like I say, the front part of this here, what's a lip on there, push it backwards. Just let it gently rest over those two pins there. We're in, we're done. Lid back on top. Watch out for it popping out. Or hold the front if you need to. Get you out a little bit. A tiny bit tricky, but it's, it shouldn't. Done, there you go. So turn it back round. Pull your four screws back in. Screw them back in place. And we should hopefully be done. And with your GameCube fully back together again. Powered up, cabled up. Joypad on, power up. You can hear it's doing its thing. Ta da! And basically set the clock, which is a right option for the calendar. Yeah, mine's showing 2065, which it isn't 2065, it's 2020. But there you go. This will now save the settings, will save the calendar. So you're done, sorted. That's how easy it is. There are other consoles out there that are a lot more difficult. That was really, really easy to do on the Nintendo GameCube. So, thanks a lot for watching. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on social media. If you want to be a Patreon, help out the channel. Links are in the description below. Other than that, I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.